I was at a school one time. The little boy came up to me after a program and he was in tears. He was crying because his dog had just passed away. Now, there was a little boy that had just spoken to me about two people before him that had lost both of his parents in a car accident and now he's in foster care. So I understand that there's levels to the pain. I meet people all the time and I'm like, that's really bad. Like I couldn't even imagine going through that. The truth is, Everybody reacts to pain differently and all of your pain is valid. All of your stories are valid. So what happened was this little boy's crying about his dog. Little boy that lost both of his parents, he walks over. My stomach drops. I thought he was going to compare the pain, but he didn't. He came over, he tapped this little boy on the shoulder and he cried with him. He said, man, I know what it feels like to lose someone I love. I've learned a lot from student stories over the years. This one in particular changed my life. They built a friendship on the truth. They know how each other is feeling. They know how each other is dealing with it. The kid was honest. He said, man, I'm having suicidal thoughts. Well, before you judge him and say, man, it's just a dog, grow up. Understand that this boy, he was an only child, came from a split parent home. I know what that feels like. He didn't have any brothers or sisters. This dog had been with him since he was a little baby, like one, two years old when they got this dog. So to him, it wasn't a dog that passed away. It was his best friend that passed away. Sometimes we just don't understand each other's perspectives. We're like, grow up, man, it's a dog. I've lost my grandma, I've lost my dad, I lost, you know, and we start comparing, it becomes a competition. Who wants to win that competition, right? Nobody. So at the end of the day, what we really need to understand, as long as you don't compare your pain, then you can get connected to the people around you.